welcome dear students dear students you must have gone through the algebraic expressions in your previous classes today we are going to learn about some special kind of algebraic ex expression that is polynomial this is polynomial part 1 in this session we are going to discuss about polynomial in one variable constant variable coefficient degree of polynomial zero of polynomial naming a polynomial and polynomial with more than one variable so here let's see how to express the algebraic expression what is algebraic expression is let's consider a uh, an example that is the uh, perimeter of a square here we have taken a square whose length of its side is 3 units then what is its perimeter its perimeter is 4 into 3 units now if we increase the length of the side that is 4 units then its perimeter will become 4 into 4 units if the length of side will be 5 units then its perimeter will be 4 into 5 units if we do not know the length of the uh, side of a square let it be x units then what will be its a perimeter its perimeter will be 4 into x units here comes the algebraic expression when we consider 4x it has two parts one is 4 that is a constant and another part is x that is a variable why it is variable if we look at these steps in each square 4 is a constant and what is changing the length of this height is changing that means here length of this height is our variable which is taken here as x now usually with in uh, case of uh, variable you use the alphabets x y z etc and let's see some more algebraic expressions 3x square 7y to the power minus 3 6y to the power root 2 12u raised to the power 3 by 4 root 2 p raised to the power 9 and minus 3 root 2 z raised to the power 6 and 8 by 11 x raised to the power 8 these are all algebraic expressions out of these expressions let's see 3x square root 2 p to the power 9 minus 3 root 2 z to the power 6 and 8 by 11 x to, to the power 8 these four algebraic expressions are called monomials why they are monomials what about the rest what uh, remains here the remaining algebraic expressions are 7 y to the power minus 3 6 y to the power root 2 and 12 u to the power 3 by 4 what is difference between these three why these four are called the below four are called monomials and the rest are not if we very uh, minutely examine the exponents of the variables we see that in encircled uh, expressions the exponents are negative and not integers and so and so but in case of the uh, expressions written below the algebraic the exponents given here are all non 
0 non negative integers. Now, see then what is monomial? If A where A is not equal to 0 is a constant real number, X is real variable and n is a non negative integer or we say whole number then algebraic expression a x to the power n in x is called a monomial of degree n and here a is called the coefficient of the monomial then what is polynomial polynomial is nothing but an algebraic, algebraic expression where we may have one or more terms and each term is a monomial. Then the algebraic expression is called a polynomial. Polynomial in X is usually denoted as P in parenthesis X. Any polynomial can be expressed in this form. Not only P, we can use any other alphabet also to represent a polynomial. Let us see some algebraic expressions where they are uh, polynomials or not. See, in this case, we have in first one, Px is equal to 2x square plus 3. That means, this 2x square plus 3 is the polynomial and this is represented by Px. Similarly, in second one, the polynomial is minus 3y to the power 3 minus 3y plus 5. And what is the variable? Variable is y. So, the polynomial is denoted by Qy. It may also be denoted by Py. Similarly, other also are given. Now, let us see what are the number of terms and what are the terms and what are the highest exponent of the variable and how to find the degree of the polynomial. In first case, see number of terms is 2. Then what are the terms? The terms are 2x square and 3. And what is the highest exponent of the variable? Here it is x square, so value is 2. So, here we can say the degree of polynomial is 2. In second one qy, the number of terms is 3 and what are the terms? Minus 3 y raised to the power 3 minus 3 y and 5. And what is the highest exponent of the variable? It is 3. So, degree of polynomial is also 3. In next one, we have 4 terms. What are they? 5 p raised to the power 3, 3 p square minus 5 and 2 p. And what is the highest exponent of the variable p? Here, p to the power 3. So, 3 is the highest exponent. And so, degree of this polynomial is 3. Now, let us consider the next one that is P u 10 u raised to the power 3 minus 3 u raised to the power 12. So, number of term is 2 and the terms are 10 u to the power 3 and minus 3 u to the power 12. So, the highest exponent is here 12. So, we can say that degree of polynomial is 12 here. And last one C, it is minus 9 t to the power 5 plus 2 t square. This is a polynomial with variable t, so it is written p t. So, you can see that number of terms is 2 and the terms are minus 9 t to the power 5 and p 2 t square and highest exponent of variable is 5 here. So, degree of polynomial here is 5. In all these cases, we have one variable only. In first one, the only one variable is there that is x. 
in second one again one variable that is y in third one the variable is only p and in a p u the variable is u and in p t the variable is t so these are called polynomial in one variable next we see that p x is equal to 2 x plus 3 this is another polynomial and what is the degree of this polynomial the degree of this polynomial is 1 because power of x is not given that means its power is 1 and so it is called a linear polynomial why it is called linear polynomial it will be discussed later now see if the degree of polynomial is 1 how many terms maximum term can it have it can have two terms it can also has uh, it can also have one term say 3x 3x is a linear polynomial okay next we see the general form of linear polynomial in x is ax plus b which is where a is not equal to 0 that means if the polynomial is linear polynomial the coefficient of the x must not be 0 then, though, then only it can be a linear polynomial next consider another polynomial that is 2x square minus 5x plus 1 this is again a polynomial with one variable and its degree is 2 the polynomial with degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial and its general form is x square plus bx plus c where coefficient of x square must not be 0 now see if the degree of polynomial is 2 then what can be how many terms it can have it can have any number of terms between 1 2 and 3 that means if you write only a x square then it is a uh, quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x again it is a quadratic polynomial x square plus c it is a quadratic polynomial but if we write b x plus c it will become a binomial of degree 1 so the uh, coefficient of x square must not be 0 now from by studying these two we can say how many terms a polynomial in x with degree 3 can have these polynomials the degree of polynomial is 3 then the polynomial is called cubical polynomial in this case the number of terms are between 1 to 4 as we can see that 4x cube plus x square this is cubical 4x cube plus x square plus x is cubical only 4x cube is a cubical polynomial and 4x square plus 4x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 1 this is also a cubical polynomial so we can have number of terms to be 1 2 3 or 4 okay then its general form is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where as it is discussed before a must not be 0 as it is a cubical polynomial now here you see the number of terms in all these polynomials are finite that means we have a finite number of terms in any polynomial if that number of terms is n 
that is as we consider in cubical we have number of terms maximum number of terms in um, uh, r4 so if the degree of polynomial in x is n then what is its general form and at most how many terms it can have we can write this n degree polynomial as a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and in this way up to a n minus x to the power n minus 1 plus a n x to the power n where a0 a1 a2 a3 in this way up to a n minus 1 and a n why we are writing like this as in last case cubical uh, equation uh, cubical polynomial it was given only four terms so we used a b c d but here number of terms is not known so how to write the coefficients so a0 a1 a2 a3 in this way we have to write the coefficients and these are constants okay and as this is n degree polynomial so a n must not be 0 and n is non negative integer here p x is called a polynomial of degree n then this polynomial has terms a 0 a 1 x a 2 x square a 3 x cube in this way a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 a n x to the power n what are these these are each of these algebraic expressions are monomial and each of these monomial are called terms of the polynomial p x so you can see the as it is written that n is non negative integer so each term is monomial and each monomial is a term of the polynomial p x if the coefficients a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 and all these coefficients up to a n all are 0 then what will happen to our polynomial p x and the polynomial p x will become 0 if the polynomial will become 0 then what is the what we uh, say about the polynomial its degree of the polynomial the degree of 0 polynomial is not defined then polynomial with more than one variable these are x plus 2xy plus 3y here we have used two variables x and y so to represent to denote it we can write uh, say pxy and its degree to find the degree of a polynomial with more than one variable we have to add the exponents of each term each variable of the term in this way if you see 2xy here the sum of the exponents of x and y are 2 so here the degree of polynomial is 2 in second one we have used two variables u and v u plus u v plus 2 u square v minus 4 u v q so here we can write that p u v so in in this polynomial if we find the degree of polynomial you can see in the last term the sum of the exponents u and v is 4 which is maximum so degree of this polynomial is 4 in third case we have used three variables so we can write p x y z here also again see z to the power 3 is maximum and the term next to it that is minus 3 x y z 
the sum of the com exponents of the variables is again 3. So, degree of polynomial is 3 here. Now, we have discussed about different types of polynomials. Now, let us see some questions to recapitulate it. Let us look at this question. Here it is, which of the following algebraic expressions are not polynomials? To know about which are polynomials and which are not polynomials as we have discussed, let us recall it that when the exponents of the algebraic expressions are non-negative integers, then they are polynomials. These algebraic expressions are polynomials. Now, we have to examine these uh, algebraic expressions to see which are in this form and which are not. If 3x square plus 5x here, the exponents of variable x are 2 and 1. Yes, 2 and 1 are non-negative integers. So, first one is a polynomial. In second case, root 3x cube minus 1 by x plus 5. Now, what is it? If we write minus root 3 x cube minus 1 by x plus 5, we can write this like this root 3 x cube plus minus x to the power minus 1 plus 5. Here the exponent of x is 3. Here exponent of x is minus 1. Here it is a constant. As the exponent is a negative integer, so this cannot be a polynomial. Now see, third one, 5x plus root x. 5x plus root x can be written as 5x plus root x can be written as x to the power 1 by 2. Now, is 1 by 2 an integer? Definitely, it is not. Then, we can say 5x plus root x is not a polynomial. Now, see, minus 7 x to the power 4. Here, the exponent is 4. So, the uh, it is uh, non-negative integer. So, it is a polynomial. And 9, 9 is a constant number and it is a polynomial of degree 0. So, only the encircled expressions are not polynomials. Let us see another question. Here it is, find the degree of the following polynomials. We have to find the degrees. The polynomials are 3x square plus 5x. Now, to find the degree of polynomial, we have to find the, the highest degree or highest power of the variable. Here, in 1, 3x square, the exponent of x is 2 and in 5x, it is 1. So, highest exponent is 2. So, the degree of the first one is 2. In second one, it is root 3x cube minus 27x plus 5. As you examine, the variable has highest exp exponent 3. So, it is degree, it is a polynomial of degree 3. In question number 3, 5x plus root 9 x to the power 4 minus 1. In first term, the exponent of x is 1. In second term, exponent of x is 4. And in third one, the exponent of x is 0 as it is a constant. So, the highest exponent is 4. So, degree of this polynomial is 4. Now, 
in case of minus 7 x to the power 4, this is a monomial and its degree is same as 4. Now, in case of 1 0 5, it is a constant. We have learned that the, the constants are polynomial of degree 0. So, 105 is a polynomial of degree 0. Today, we discussed monomials in one variable, monomials in more than one variable. Degree of monomial of one variable, zero degree of monomial that is constant. Constants are monomial of degree zero. Polynomials in one variable. Poly means more and nomials means terms. And general form of polynomials in one variable of degree n that is a0, a1x, a2x square up to an x to the power n where a n is not 0 and 0 polynomial. In next class, we will study zeros or roots of polynomial in one variable. Dear students, today the lesson is lesson ends here. Thank you.